Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Gates, a personality in the global scenario who needs no introduction, has very famously said that there is no question that the climate is changing. As Mr. Hazarika validly picked up the point of climate change, Bill Gates has very famously said that there is no question that the climate is changing. The question is what role the human beings are playing in it. And that is why we've got a lot of guests in the house. And as some of you will get a chance to interact with them more deeply during the next two days, we would just like to invite some of our special guests up on the stage just for two minutes each to share their thoughts with us this morning. We would like to start with inviting our first guest on the stage. Please put your hands together as I invite on the stage Mr. Deepak Chakrabarti, Managing Director for Numaligar Refinery Limited. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, uh, I'm delighted to be here today and uh, Green Tech Foundation. Earlier also, I've been attending many conferences and uh, I really thank the foundation for giving me an opportunity to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, what Mr. Hajarika said about the importance of CSR, about the importance of climate change, I think over the years we have realized that and uh, a lot of suggestions that have, uh, he has forwarded to us and definitely in our corporate sector and in the, even individually we shall try to imbibe the culture of understanding the environment and working towards it to save the environment. In fact, I will not say much about uh, the topic today because after lunch I have a small presentation, uh, an informative presentation on uh, waste management and uh, water management because in today's context, like carbon footprint, water footprint has become, uh, realizing the water footprint has become very essential and I'll try to focus in my paper how we uh, identify the water footprints and what any, I mean, can, some corporations can take some initiative like we have done in our case at Numaliga Refinery. With these few words, I thank you for giving an opportunity to be here and put forward my observations and few comments. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Chakrabarti. And you must really look forward to his presentation with all of us post-lunch. Next up, let me invite on stage Mr. Minishit Dayal, Managing Director for Bandir Power Limited, to address the audience for two minutes. Wish you all a very good morning. This is the 13th annual Green Tech Environment and CSR Awards. Green Tech Foundation, under the leadership of Mr. Kamleshwar Sharan, has uh, been uh, doing a very noble cause, promoting education, training, research, and also providing encouragement and acknowledgement to the outstanding achievements in the areas of environment, CSR, safety, and HR. These conferences also are a platform for all delegates and awardees and uh, participants like us to share the knowledge and benchmark ourselves also. These prestigious awards by the Green Tech Foundation are coveted by all industries. We at SR have been participating in various Green Tech uh, awards. Sometimes we have been successful in getting these prestigious trophies, but always we have gone back more wise and learned from the, all the knowledge which is shared by the delegates here. 
I take this opportunity to welcome Mr. Hazarika and such a distinguished audience representing most of the major industries to this 13th annual Green Tech Environment and CSR conference. Tomorrow, I also have a small session uh, sharing what we have done at uh, SR Power for uh, managing our uh, water, reducing and recycling most of it. I hope it will be uh, informative for all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. Talking so much about water, I'm just reminded of this anonymous but very famous quote that everybody who thinks that the economy of the world depends on oil or any other resource will be very shockingly surprised when they realize that the next world war will be fought for the control of water. So pressing is the issue right now. So while we will hear in more detail about water conversation over, conservation over the next sessions, let me invite our next guest onto the stage. Please put your hands together as I invite Mr. T.S. Ramachandran, Director Technical for Chennai Petroleum Corporation Limited. I would like to next invite on stage our next guest, Mr. M. K. Padia, Executive Director, Indian Oil Corporation Limited for Mathura Refinery. Mr. Hazarika, uh, today's chief guest, and Mr. Saran, today's host and the organizer of this function. Good morning, friends. Uh, our, we have been told of Mahatma Gandhi's uh, quote that uh, earth has everything to offer but nothing for uh, the, our greed. One thing, another Mahatma Gandhi has said, nothing comes free. Mother Earth gives us a lot of things and uh, even the, when the baby bones, the mother bleeds, like the mother earth when it gives, it bleeds and, uh, and the, for, the, for the sake of progress, there may be some environmental issues. Uh, it do happens, but it's our responsibility to keep the future generation a good earth. We all are trying to do our best. There, there are environmental issues. If we talk about economy, then there will be a, a question of uh, growth and money. We have talked talk, talk about so, social uh, requirement, then job requirement will come and there are many other social issues will come up. And when, when we talk about the environment, then we can do anything. So the, as, as the way we talk about sustainability, sustainable development, and sustainable development, the economy, social requirement and the environment, all three years gets blended and the best these things is taking place. We talk about the CSR today, but when we go back what the uh, Jawaharlal Nehru has thought of for the India, the big, big projects has come up in the rural area. I remember when I joined Baroni Refinery long back, the, there was a poverty and when I after 30 years when I went back to Baroni, I had seen the growth taking place. Same with the Haldia refinery, what Indian oil has put up. The way in which the area has developed, the money circulates and the growth takes place. Now we talk about the CSR and the companies is being based on the rules and guidelines. We talk about the CSR. And earlier the whims and fancies was being talked about as Hazarika Saab was telling. But nowadays, government has given the guidelines and everybody is required to follow the guideline. And if we, true to the ethics of the business, if we go for, uh, go for a, a right NGO to look into the, the requirement of the society nearby, things will improve. Indian oil or even oil industry as a whole, trying to do their bit for the environment. And we are, all, oil industry is a bit more forward than 
whatever the environment is calling for. Uh, I have never come across any failures taking place in the following of the environment regulations in the oil industry. In last one, one and a half decade, whatever the growth has taken place, as a tremendous growth has taken place, and the, along with that growth, there are environmental issues has come up. Earlier when we were talking about the end of the pipe, uh, corrections of the environment, now we talk in, in advance, go for the technologies which is much better, less energy consuming, and we are aware of the environment because of that there are energy conservation projects. And I'm sure uh, uh, during the deliberation, more things will be discussed and we'll learn from each other. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Paria. Inviting now, Mr. Anil Jori, Executive Director. Inviting now, Mr. Anil Jori, ONGC direct, uh, Director, ONGC Limited for the Ahmedabad Asset. Good morning, respected Hazarka Saab, Mr. Kamlesh Sharan, ladies and gentlemen. I am also having a presentation in the afternoon, and uh, its topic is Managing Natural Resources for Sustainable Environment. First of all, let me congratulate Mr. Kamlesh Sharan for raising the very important issue of the environment. Since morning, we are listening few key words, greenhouse gases, sustainability, carbon footprints, all these are now bringing a storm, which I will be covering. If we are not taking care right now, probably we will damage environment that much, which will not be able to improve, and we will make the irreparable damage to the environment. Then the question comes, who should do it? Is the government or is the country or who should do it? In my opinion, each one of us, whoever lives on the planet Earth, should do, should make the concern about the environment. I am once again thanking to Mr. Kamlishwar Saran for raising this issue, and I am having a detailed presentation regarding the how we can save environment. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Jory, and uh, funnily, Mr. Jory,